Number 43, suppose you want to operate an ideal refrigerator with a cold temperature of negative 10 degrees Celsius and you would like it to have a coefficient of performance of seven. Uh, what is the hot reservoir temperature uh, for such a refrigerator? So basically they gave us the cold temp T sub C, uh, they're asking us for the hot temp T sub H, and they told us the coefficient of performance COP. So if you take a look at number 37, I derived this particular formula it's going to be coefficient of performance is 1 divided by the uh, efficiency. And if I'm looking for ideal uh, coefficient of performance, or talking about an ideal uh, heat pump, basically, then I'm going to be using the Carnot efficiency. So I realize that uh, this formula does help me out, but not directly yet, because the Carnot efficiency over here on the right-hand side is equal to this, right? But that has now the two temperatures in it. So I can basically just do a simple substitution. So there's just going to be 1 divided by 1 minus T sub C divided by T sub H. And voila, now all I need to do is start plugging in and I can solve if I like. Uh, so why don't we just do some algebra first? Remember the whole goal is to solve for T sub H. So we're first going to do a cross multiplication here. So this is going to be uh, 1 minus T sub C over T sub H will equal 1 divided by the coefficient of performance. I'm basically just literally taking what's ever in the denominator, bringing it up, what's ever in the numerator, bringing it on down. Okay, we've seen that <clears throat> little trick many times. So now I'm going to, just to get this positive, I'm going to add it to the left, and then i got to subtract this uh, from the right on over to the left. So this is basically 1 minus then 1 over coefficient of performance is equal to then cold temperature divided by the hot. And now, look, I can do that little trick again. I want the hot, so I'm just going to bring whatever, literally everything in the denominator on the right, and then switch it with everything that's in the numerator on the left. And you might say, well, wait a minute. Remember, this is really over 1. Okay, so this is really the whole numerator. Just bring it on down. And look, finito. Okay, so here's the formula. Now all we got to do is plug it in. So temperature of the cold was negative 10, but remember you need that in terms of Kelvin, so you gotta add the 273 to that. And then simply divide that now by one minus one over that coefficient of performance, which they told us was seven. And let's see what we get. So it's going to be uh, basically 263 on the top, right? Divided by then parentheses, one minus one divided by seven. And we get about 307 or so, 300 and 7 degrees Kelvin, uh, 307 in Kelvin. If you need that in Celsius, simply subtract the 273, all right? And it would be 33.8. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next problem. Take care.